Hey, sports card fans, it's John, Wade Boggs fan. Hope you're all doing well. Recently, I picked up a 1971 Topps Willie McCovey. Won it on an auction on eBay, and it was a very fortunate set of circumstances. I was scheduled to record the latest Vintage 100 Index Hobby Report with Mike Baseball Collector, and he was running a little bit late uh, in his uh, schedule, so while I was waiting for him to get on, uh, the auction ended. And so I was able to put in a last second bid on this card and win it for what I consider a uh, really good price. Uh, for this particular grade of the 71 Tops Willie McCovey, uh, the VCP uh, pricing on that is at the low end. Uh, they're going for about $12. On the high end, $38. Uh, the VCP average for this particular grade uh, is $22. Now, when I bid on cards, I, I usually look at the average VCP price because, again, with vintage, uh, on the low end, they may be uh, copies that are off-center, maybe not as visually appealing, uh, as opposed to the cards that sell toward the high end of that range. Uh, that would be you know, really nice eye appeal uh, cards, uh, crisp cards, maybe undergraded uh, cards for that particular grade. And so I tend to try to, when I figure out how much I want to pay for a card or bid on a card, um, I don't always get something around that average VCP price. Sometimes I do have to pay closer to uh, the high price there, especially if it's a card that I consider has really nice eye appeal. Well, for this card that I do consider have uh, pretty good eye appeal. I was able to win the auction and including shipping and tax cost me just under $19. So whenever I can buy a vintage card for a little bit less than the average VCP price for that particular grade, I consider it a win. I know you may not think, hey, a couple dollars, you know, what's the big deal? Hey, for me on a budget, if I can save two, three, five dollars here, that's money that I can put toward another card. So I'm going to turn the camera around, show off the 1971 Topps Willie McCovey that I added to my collection, and show off the other Willie McCovey cards uh, that I have of his. So let's go take a look. Okay, so the 71 Topps McCovey that I was able to pick up is this PSA 5 copy. And again, when you're dealing with the 71 Topps cards, uh, that black border... Uh, is a, a big factor in the uh, grade and condition. Uh, what drew me to this card was the near-perfect centering uh, on this. Uh, yeah, the, the corners show a little bit of wear and wearing of that, that black border, uh, but to me, I don't mind it at all. Um, again, the, the corners present good enough for me, but the card is free of any uh, creases, good registry, and again, that centering to me uh, is, uh, to me, it's nearly perfect. I, I, I can't, left to right, top to bottom, all looks really good to me. And here is the back of the card, again, on the back, maybe a little top to bottom, but I mean, my goodness, that's really nicely centered there. So to pick up a 71 uh, this well centered um, again issues are the corners that's that's really what uh, dropped the grade on this but to me this is a, a perfect example of a card that I look to have in my collection especially when you have grade sensitive uh, sets like the 71 tops so there's that addition and again, since I was showing this card off, I thought I'd show off my other Willie McCoveys that I have. And so it jumps from the 1971, and then I start a run here with his 1975 tops. I have this one in a PSA 7. There we go. With him on the Padres. Then I have his 1976 in a PSA 8. Then 
And I also have his 1977 in a PSA 7. Again, some of these 77s are really, for whatever reason, I don't know, just hard to find in a quote unquote collector grade. Again, for me, centering is the is the issue. Um, a lot of these 77s, even when you find 7s and 8s, uh, they're, they're off center, typically left to right. Uh, so really happy with this one here uh, that I was able to get. Uh, again, the numerical grade did not really matter uh, much to me. It was the centering. And there is the back. Then he's featured twice in the 1978 set. The first one is the record breaker. Most times, two home runs in an inning lifetime. Not sure if that's been broken or not. But this one is a PSA 8 copy. I guess it was only the second time uh, that he's done that, so I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I can imagine that at least it's been tied since, but... And then his regular 1978 tops, also in a PSA 8. Love the color combination. Again, 78 is uh, my, my favorite set. Um, just for this particular card, they did a great job in matching the border color, uh, the color of, the, of the, the Giants there, and the color in his uniform. So I think that is just a really gorgeous looking card. And there's the back. Then he has two more cards, his 1979 tops, also having a PSA 8. And these, these 79s just are, are notorious for their diamond centering. So this one's not too bad. Back with the Giants. Actually, I didn't notice, realize this, but he spent uh, part of 1976, played 11 games with the Oakland A's. I didn't realize that. I don't think there's a card of him. Uh, there may be some yeah, oddball, I don't want to use the word oddball, but you know, non-regular issued uh, baseball card of him in an Oakland A's uniform. I wonder if one of those exists. But I just noticed that. Played 11 games for the A's. And then finally, his last card. 1980. PSA 8 copy. I've earned 20 home runs. Now again, uh, this... I think he played in the 80 season, so this probably doesn't have his full career stats on it. But at the time, he had 520 home runs, over 1,500 RBIs. So there you go, my latest Willie McCovey pickup, uh, the 1971 in a PSA 5, and the other Willie McCovey cards in my collection. So there you go, my 1971 Topps Willie McCovey. Would love to know in the comments what you think of that card, uh, how well I did uh, with the price or the overall eye appeal uh, of that card, and would love to know if you knew that Willie McCovey played 11 games for the Oakland A's in 1976. Again, without looking at the back of the card, I never would have picked that up. So with that, that's all I have for you. So until next time, thanks for watching.